If you look at the whole project now, in the context of its history, it's nothing short of miraculous that it happened at all. The competition entry was sketchy, but they said that there may be something here which could turn out to be one of the great buildings of the world. Oh, Vara urged us and look, we're trying to stick to the, the shape that you have and somehow we'll make it work. The hardest part was that we didn't have a solution. You know, we had to start to think about how it could work. From memory, there were about five or six drawings all stamped preliminary. And that's what they were working to. And uh, so they carried on digging and I hoped that something would turn up to tell us where to stop. He changed the design, which is perfectly reasonable. And I, I was delighted because, it, you know, one began to see a light at the end of the tunnel. I suppose everyone that worked there would have a different point of view about what it felt like. But to me, it was the most exhilarating thing I'd done in my life, just working on the job. I think we all believed it. We all believed that it would become one of the great buildings. Everyone in, in, involved on it, the, the engineers, the, the builders, the, the politicians, the, the architects, they were determined to, to, to finish it. The project uh, had reached a point where, you know, something had to give. They had to be a circuit breaker because it just couldn't sort of move forward. It took a lot of blood, sweat and tears and a number of very talented, then young engineers, to accomplish it. It was nothing short of extraordinary.